Yo, what's going on, guys? Ezreal got some pretty big buffs this patch. He has 10% more AD scaling on his Q, so it's at 140% from 130. And his R has 100 more damage on it at all ranks. He's currently a top 4 AD carry. So if you're just looking for an easy AD carry to pick up, blind pickable, and just good and really in every situation, Ezreal's perfect. We are running a 57% win rate build. Ezreal has a crazy high pick rate, so his, his win rates on his builds aren't super impressive. That's just because bad Ezreals are dragging it down but this is his best build. You're gonna wanna go for a tier first item back, generally speaking, into a Trinity Force, Mana Moon. Then you're gonna wanna get your uh, Spear of Shoujin. You can go for Sheen then tier, but you're not always gonna have 900 gold. We have Pressy Attack, Presence of Mind, Bloodline, Included Gross, Free Boots, Biscuits with Attack Speed 80 and Health. If we get our passive stacked to at least three, we can look for big trades in lane. Since we're double ranged, we can push the lane really up free. Take control of it. Ames going to look to do her little bounces. I don't have my passive stacked at all, but we're about to hit level 2. Got it with just a raw auto. Missed the Q itself. Typically, weave your Qs in between your autos. So the enemies can't dodge it so easily. Nice. I'd like to get some damage on Nautilus so we can't even even so we can't really even think about doing that. Not horrible, because we can heal a lot of this off through Raka. If we didn't have a Soraka, I wouldn't have looked for a play that would involve me getting hooked. She went for a first strike. Interesting. Auto Q auto. I don't have my. Ooh, Straka took a turret shot. That's rough. If you're snared in league and you're underneath enemy turret, you want to press S so you don't accidentally auto attack somebody. That turret hurts. Oof, we just lost our five passive stacks. It's unfortunate. Got it. Nice. Get him with the W auto. He missed. They can't fight us. Like Nautilus no hook. I'll continue to push this wave. Then I'll look toward. MF's missed so much freaking CS, man. She's really far behind. She's not farming well underneath turret. Now, if your opponent is farming well underneath turret, if you're going to shove, you should roam if you can't dive them. Or just stop shoving. But since she is farming so poorly underneath turret, just by shoving, we're building... Pretty decent lead. We're gonna EW auto Q auto. We'll heal the rock up. We're gonna auto Q auto. Auto W auto. Q auto. I have my passive stack, so I have really high damage. My passive is five stack there. We can see it when it's about to fall off right here. We just have to hit something with an ability. Uh, I actually missed a cannon for no reason. I'll use Biscuit to get more mana back. Alright, so we're at 5 stacks. Auto Q, got it. I think she's actually dead here. I'm just going to flash out. The closer you are, so I'm pressing S so I don't accidentally auto attack him. Now I can walk out. So if I auto him there, I'm dead. That happens a lot with Nautilus, like with how it CCs you. Even if you're not trying to auto them, you'll end up auto attacking. But yeah, point blank range, you can't really miss your attack. So if I E auto into her, I can pivot into her and just hit her with Q. I can E auto W, move in closer. You can always take another step before using an ability for trying to maximize the chances of it landing. We'll pick up Tear, Sheen, and we'll grab a Ruby. Against the melee support, it is pretty optimal on double range. So there's an AD carry if you have range support to keep them perma pushed, poke them. Only do it though if you have wards. If you're out of wards, don't push. I have a ward though, so we'll push, keep them low enough to where they can't engage. I'm pretty strong against their comp. Ezreal's biggest counters are champions that outrange him like Twitch R, Ziggs, and Seraphine against these two guys. 
I mean, they really have nothing on their team that's going to give us big issues. I need to get my passive stack. This is a lot of minions for us to try to fight on. This is way too many minions. I'm hitting Nautilus, which is hilarious. Auto W, Q auto. I'm going to hit MF, take off her speed, auto Q auto. She actually got creep blocked by her own minion there. Got her with a W auto. I had Sheen procs that was worth even though I was tanking some of her minions. Mm, that was awkward. I don't have any passive stacks. Wow, that was a nasty bounce angle. She's looking for those. Got Nautilus with that. That's big. I'm going to EW auto, drop the Q, missed the Q, but we got the W. The W makes our next attack do a lot of extra damage against them. I have Biscuit. I'm going to wait till I'm a little lower. Oh, I just dropped past the stacks. I should have thrown out a W on not. W auto, Q. I'll just drop R. E W auto, drop the Q, ward auto. Setting up R defensively on Ezreal is really strong. It can't be canceled, so even if they hit you with a big CC like a fear, a knock of knockback hook, it still goes off. So if you can tell you're about to get CC'd, you might as well start it because it takes a while to actually cast to where they're not actually CC'ing you if you think about it. Uh, I kind of want this. I want that plate. I'm going to leave. Oh, Kha'Zix is top. I didn't even get credit for the play. I just autoed it. What the heck? That's insane. It was within, I autoed it within the last five seconds. They must have changed it to where you just have to be close to it to get credit. That's wild. Yeah, I'll just buy that. Because I want to have space for my free boots when they come in. So I just swapped around what I purchased. Because if I don't have a slot open, my free boots, I won't be able to get them until I back and sell something or create a room of some kind. Sheen's such a big power spike for Ezreal. Like I said, as long as you have a few passive stacks, generally three or more, three to five, five's the max, then you can look set up an all-in, especially if you land the Q or you already have a health advantage. <laughs> it's just thought is toxic for no reason. Alright, I'm here, but I don't like this fight. Because all these minions are right here. You never really want to do a neutral ward if we you don't have lane prior. So, because it's a supporter AD carry, if you're basically underneath turret, you don't want to look push out for a control ward because we can't defend it properly. I would have missed two waves of minions to defend that. I have five passive stacks. I can get a little bit of damage on her. The way they're playing is weird. It's almost like they're trying to bait me in right now. So I don't know if Ka's down here. I missed. Nautilus didn't pressure. So I could just walk whatever way back to safety. Auto Q auto. Oh, EQ forward. Get a little bit of damage on her. We have minion wave, so it's hard for Nautilus to hook, hook through that. I have MF pressured. Oh, this is bad. I kind of ran a weird way, too. Gone with a W auto Q. We'll EQ into her. That was awkward. She had heal. That made it kind of dicey. Dude, I've missed two cannons now. Holy crap. Two minimum. If I pass the stacks, I didn't see Kha'Zix health. Okay, he's dead. Solid. Keep up my pass the stacks and rip up the turret. <laughs> I missed my W on turret. How is that even possible? Holy moly. Five stacks, 50% attack speed. It's a lot. Got so many plates out of that. It's time to back off. 
We were lined up with the wall, Nautilus was forcing it, I can lay an R for free, whether he CCs me or not there. I was expecting MF to R sooner, I guess she just didn't feel like she could get the kill, I don't think she could. Soraka R. You typically want Lucids on Ezreal. They're pretty AD heavy though, and lethality heavy, with MF, Kha'Zix both going lethality, and plus it's MF, Ka, Vayne, AD, so I don't mind having played in. My team's also lacking a front line, so I might have to front line a little bit here and there. Besides Trinity and the Mana Moon, third item can be a bit situational. You can go Surlds, Frozen Heart, Ma. Just depends on what you need. You'll find out with most characters in League of Legends, they have two items they build pretty much every game, first and second. But then after that, it just it's more about what you need. I'm going to lose all my passive stacks for that. Wait with the W auto. Auto Q auto. Ah, that's a clean whiff. It wouldn't even have killed her. I mean, she's dead if she stays. That was kind of ballsy for this guy to go for. I'm going to meet this Trish. She's annoying. Nice. I mean, they have some HP. Auto E. Oh, he got me with his R. I might actually die here. I think a call I messed up. Plus, the rocket still has R. That works. Not as blue everything. He flashed a close distance, too. Kali's coming back, potentially. I don't even think this is awarded. Oh, it is now. Whatever. I'll reset. <laughs> kind of time to group mid. I don't have enough gold for mana moon. I have a weird amount of gold. Auto Q, auto. Oh, Nautilus is coming back. He wants it. Boy, what does he want? He's got a lot of armor. We have Soraka and Diana for our magic damage primarily, and then we have E true damage. Their comp's a lot better as a whole. We don't have a front line. He needs to go to the Warmog's build. He's probably won't, though. Most people don't know about it. I made a video on it, and there were some people who were pretty upset. They thought I was stealing it from somebody. Pretty much 90% 90, 90 of the builds I do, well, a large portion of them I did on my own. And then another large portion is from like OPGG and UGG to where I don't actually watch streamers or other YouTubers. I don't have time for that to where he may have popularized it, but I wasn't aware of it. I didn't, I didn't even like, I, maybe I did take credit for it, I don't know, but Found it on OPGG. Auto Q, W auto. That's a really awkward fight. Nautilus is crazy tanky, so if he puts himself in between me and his teammates, it kind of makes things hard. I'm gonna EQ forward. I have minions there. Every time I EQ forward when Nautilus is there, I make sure I have a minion nearby. Now I'd minion for me to set up behind. I don't like that fight. I'm just gonna back out of it. By missing my skill shots and the fight just feels weird, I'm not gonna fight it. Auto Q. W E. Q. I'm gonna flash out. That was dicey. Auto Q. Auto R. Auto Q. Auto W. Auto. Auto Q. Kha'Zix is low. I'll just E for it. A little bit of a kill still. Is what it is. 
sure Trist isn't thrilled about that. She has low base movement speed, though. She may not have been able to catch up. Boop. Nice. Hmm. I can't do a whole lot about that. She did at least finish it, which is nice. Yeah, I kind of need to spend my gold. I'm sitting on a lot of unspent. He's right there. He's just waiting to hook. Auto Q auto. That was a really nice redemption. I'll W on MF. E Q auto. He just needs to turn and hit this guy for Pete's sake. Come on, man. Hit him. <laughs> He's already pretty low. Got him. Just a little bit of damage makes a big difference. He's already going right here. Got him with an auto. Hey, I'm going to eat out. This is the end dicey. Bow. Hmm. He's over here. Here's a call for some reason. I guess I should just reset. I'm seeing a lot of unspent. My team doesn't really want to fight here. I only have 2-3. It's enough to get Mana Moon though, which is pretty big. Every bit of ability haste counts on Ezreal. Whenever you land a Q, it puts all of his abilities on a second and half shorter cooldown. To where if you're hitting Qs, they're about the same cooldown as his normal auto attack. And his Qs hit hard. His Qs apply Sheen proc, of course. So one Q auto kills and melees for us. Beautiful. EQ. I check she hit me with that. W auto Q. Ah, oh, the rocket thing missed. This is bad. This is probably a goofball for taking it though, because she's not really fed. She's gonna keep juking. Ah, sucks. She's really, really fast with Lich Bane. Plated. <laughs> Ryan decided to make Plated cheaper than other boot options, and not everyone's building it. They, they shouldn't have done that. It was already really good. There's a free red buff for me over here. I'm going to go grab that. Super important. Ooh, Vayne's on Ghost. I, I got to go back up my Diana. Deanda. Gotta back up my Deanda. She did a big old bowl of nothing. Man's actually kind of fed. E back, gone with the Q. Vane messed it up hard there with her condemn. Auto Q auto. Yeah, the Vane damage is just freaking nuts in the butts. Auto W auto. Beautiful. I almost died. She, I think she's dead, right? Huh. I could have killed her. She needed a, one decent hit. Dang it. I even had heal. Maybe I should have baited harder. Can't finish my Shojin either. I kind of have to stay alive. If I die, we might actually lose since they have front line, assassin, and big back line. Their back line does more damage than ours, and their front line's thicker. We don't have a front line. You didn't go Mogs. You got to go Mogs second, baby. Second or third on Mr. Yi at the moment with how strong Mogs is. I think it's the Bork into experimental into mogs because mogs you need a little bit of extra bonus health to get full value all right dragon it is that's our first one big moment for us cool 
keep passive up. Rip. Yeah, I still have five stacks. Cool. Kind of walked into that guy there. Line it up. Got Vane. Got Vane again. I'm going to use this wall to get away from Nautilus a little bit. Wow, that actually hit in what world? That was really, really bad for me. I'm going to speed us up with heal. Auto Q auto. W Q. Freaking a call. She's finding it. I mean, we did get a callie, but. MF's fast as fudge, dude. Good. Wow, she's quick. <laughs> we got wrecked. Took two. It's taking so long to kill a call, even though she's not tanky. All she has is plated. So this is when Searled's third is super tempting. To have a slow on every Q. Could have been better. Nice. Our win con's are weird. Now that they got a thousand gold off me, we don't have an easy win con now. I need armor penetration badly. Surlds is that penetration. Lethality plus percent based armor penetration with ability haste and it's slowing them off of our damaging abilities. So our Q spam keeps them slowed, the E keeps them slowed. We need to break these guys' turrets. I got them both with that. Wait, Trista actually just did that. Alright, that works. She almost lived too. I don't even know what I'm hitting, but I'm not hitting Kha'Zix. That's for sure. Oh wait, he has plated. <laughs> oh my, it's too good. It really is too strong because it's percent based, 8% less damage from attacks, auto attacks, and then the armor. I think it used to be 12 from auto attacks. They probably nerfed it this patch. I didn't realize it was too strong. Still is too good. It's taking me probably like four Qs and four autos to kill Ka, which is too long. He has three items. Just as fed as I am. That's how it goes when you don't comp right. I think Tristop is a power pick. Makes sense when you have tank support or tank jungle, but when your team doesn't have those front line options, it makes it tedious to team fight. She's going to want this too. I mean, it feels bad to take gold from Master Yu. This guy just isn't doing anything. He has 5kp out of 25 as jungle. Or 5kp out of 26. He's basically not in the game. He's just AFK. In a way, it's worse than AFK. Because I'm going to die. He's still absorbing resources. Like he's still taking CS. So it's less for the team. He's got to come team fight at some point. Wow. Kha'Zix is crazy fast on that. Nautilus is bot. Mm. Hey, we really just don't know where these people are. They're just missing. And he's not even over here. It's unreal. I gotta poke them down before they can get here. Their full health we lose. Doesn't really matter which one I hit with a Q as long as I'm hitting somebody with a Q. Someone has to take some damage. 
Kaw probably just assumes that Mastery is grouped and that we're taking Dragon, but we're not. Ka just popped R. I got him with a Q. He took a big chunk of damage from that. Heck, he's almost dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's drag. Ka is also one of the more dangerous players on his team. We win this. Ah, it's awkward. Yo, oh, got him. JFK'd. Auto W Auto. Bootiful. Call me the CIA because I just killed JFK. Main try to get away. Whoocha! Slap right in the head with the true shot barrage. What a name. Boop. MF's on the run. Got the EQ auto W. Oh, this is bad. Flash that WQ. Oh, Kha'Zix is on me still. What in the world? I don't know if he flashed or what, but he got over there. Got it. That's actually hilarious. Imagine if I could land a Q, though. Oh, she's hitting me! Ah! She got me. Fair and square. I pegged her down with a W auto before I died. She kept swapping aggro. She couldn't decide if she wanted to hit Soraka or me. So... She just... Like, two auto Soraka, two auto me. Two auto Soraka, two auto me. And Soraka slipped out of her fingers, and then she went for me. That was hilarious. I mean, we could go Bork. They're tanky enough with Nautilus that Bork wouldn't be bad. It really pisses me off how many... How Lee controls what you're allowed to build. I can't buy Lord Doms because I have Surlds. And I don't think I can get a couple of other items too, like Terminus. Yep, I'm not allowed to get Mortal Reminder. Not allowed to get Terminus, Lord Doms. Uh, not even allowed to get Black Cleaver. Holy crap, Riot. That is stupid. Why not just remove items altogether? How about that? They, they finally realized that percent-based penetration is stupid. It's way too strong. But nerf it then. I, I just, dude. When I, when I was playing this game, you could build six Robodons. Now I, I'm not even allowed to build different items. Not uh, items with different names. I'm not even allowed to build arbitrarily. It's a wild. Rabdan Diff Cap. Feels dirty. Mm, let's put it right there. I'm not sure where these guys are at. This is actually pretty dangerous. So our team has zero pressure on the map. I'm going to launch it, get some vision. Yeah, Vayne's coming, Nautilus is coming. Man, Oracles just do not last long. It's like for two and a half seconds. Now, that is pretty cruel. Only two seconds of vision. Ooh, wow. Well, I have to get armor. Even with plated, he killed me with an auto Q. Or I guess, he. what did he do? Well, he killed me. I died. So Rocket didn't even have much time to react there. I'll have to go for Frozen. Mm, random is kind of tempting. Frozen gives ability haste, though. He is fully Thality, so his build won't do a whole lot with this armor. The way flat penetration is set up to, is to where if that person built any, they, it kind of overshadows what you have. 
Alright, it's really late in the game for him to still be building lethality items, essentially. A zero armor Trist is gonna blind face check Kha'Zix bushes, makes sense. Love to see it. We can stand up and just like kinda hit him as they try to come in. I can chunk Ka. He does have Edge of Knight, so ideally we need other people hitting with abilities as I'm doing it. They're gonna push forward. Yeah, I hit something. I hit some I hit a whole lot of something there. He almost died. Got five stacks on a Q. Auto W auto. We'll get a ward over the wall. That's free drag. Three drags for us. We're on path for Soul. I didn't think the game was gonna last this long. They've done a good job of getting my bounties. Ooh, Nautilus gonna solo. Nautilus gonna solo. Solo bolo. This is probably warded. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I was kind of unlucky though. Wow. Kha'Zix jump reset. <laughs> that bush was warded. I'm gonna buy oracles. We, just, we don't have enough vision control. These tight spaces are pretty dangerous. If they already have vision in it, and we don't have like vision forward past where we're standing, it's really dangerous because they can just set up and pounce. Cause full build, he's gonna fall off from here. He's full build and uh, a level 18. So, oh, they ran out of minions. Launch a true shot. I want some vision. Alright. It's all the vision I needed. I don't even know if Drag Souls are win con, because even with Drag Soul, it may not make a big difference in these fights. Boop. There it is. May needs to die. I got condemned. This is bad. He's doing stuff. Rocket Posh should stay with him. That's fine, though. That works. Vein damage is crazy. She, she was legit, like, on top of our whole team and didn't die. You got some big value in that fight. Hitting Vayne with skill shots is tricky. She's just tumbling around. Oh, cool. I'm still taking damage. Not sure what I was hitting him with. That was making me still take damage on that one. Boop. I can get my last item here. Five red buffs for our team versus five red buffs for their team. Oof, Kha'Zix, he's on Rockabaka. I need to push this wave. Just by me pushing that wave, I've stalled the game pretty big. Got the Q auto. <laughs> the Nautilus knockup killed me. I just needed one more auto and I had it. That sucks. Stalled the Baron a little bit. Not worth. If I had killed a Kali, it would have been decent. Because I pulled two of them off. I don't have any magic resist. At this point, I think I sell for Merc Treads. Or I have to sell something else for magic resist. Hmm, that's a tough call. 
I only have 49 MR, which is really low. This is where we see the comps make a big difference. If the, if the, even if the enemies aren't playing particularly well, if they're in a position where we don't have anyone to soak the initial Nautilus and engage, it makes it really hard. Because Nautilus means you have to land hook. You can just press R, walk down whoever you are, then hook. I'll probably sell my boots for Warmogs. I need a little bit more health. Warmogs gives movement speed. I have enough bonus health. Try to see if I can take off cost shield. Nice! I got cost shield. That's a huge. They're really just gonna give up soul, huh? All right. Let's see if it makes a difference. Hopefully, mastery starts building some tanky items. Oh, he's trying to find one v three, and it's working. All right, it worked. All part of the plan. Hey Nautilus, why are you out here, buddy? Hmm, just couldn't finish it. Cause a lot less of a threat now. He's full build. He's been full build for quite some time. He thought he was not scaled too well, even with his Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest doesn't... It's not as good as you would think it would be late game, even if you're turbo fed. The rune's been over nerfed. Q auto, W auto. No one else to hit that guy. Shoot. I'm actually doing some crazy damage. All right, we're jump back. Kill Raka. We'll jump back again. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really, really bad. Oh, no one's hitting Vayne. The whole team just AFK'd there. Trist and Diana are just going to keep running until they die, I guess. In goes E. All right, we win the fight. Nice. Boy, oh boy. What a game. Yeah, they, they won. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Our team just didn't want to ever really have a proper team fight. He wanted to just AFK farm until he's full build. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we had the most in the game. Mostly poke damage, to be fair. Damage taken most on our team because we have a rock baka plus we had no tank and wait a minute i actually took more damage than not not was the take that much damage huh took more damn i was the most damage taken in the game and most damage dealt nice self mitigated we were middle-ish for runes high value on all ezreal's in a good spot pretty easy you can play him with high gas high pressure if you have minion advantage and particularly when your passive is stacked or if you have Sheen advantage, there's certain times where Ezreal can step on the gas, can force an all-in. Or if he needs to, he can play it slow. If his support's not playing well with him, he can play it as slow as he needs to with farming from far range. If you guys enjoyed this Ezreal video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what character you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.